Coming up next, we got a refreshing salad and a spread on some popovers that you're just gonna die for. Stay tuned. And I'm Lover and Didi. And our my sister-in-law, your daughter-in-law, we she submitted a cinnamon butter recipe. A recipe and yes. so we built the show around that. That yes, we did. What can we do for cinnamon butter? It's like, yes. well, you gotta have a bread. Yeah, and right. what can we put with bread? Put a salad. A absolutely. <laughs> and we had a wonderful salad. Oh thanks. Stuff. Uh, for the bread, we're gonna make popovers. You know, and I don't think people really realize how easy it is to make popovers. Okay. They're great, but they're so simple. Um, the recipe, we're going to start with one cup of flour, okay. and one cup of milk, and two eggs. So we're going to just crack that in here. Now this, this makes about a dozen popovers? It does. Okay. About a dozen. You know, depending upon how large you like them, 10 to 12, or how big your muffin pan is. Okay. You know, there. So that and a teaspoon of cooking oil. Four ingredients. That's it. Perfect. You know, that is it. And then you just want to beat that till smooth. Okay. And it's going to be quite uh, runny. It's not a thick batter at okay. all. What you would be kind of expecting, you know, for a dough. Okay. It's, it's very thin. So we're going to just, I'm going to just take my hand mixture and mix that up. Here, I'm going to just scrape that down a little bit. But like I said, you can see that it's really runny. It is. And that, but it just amazing that you know something can be so good but yet so simple to make. Okay, all we need that is until it's smooth. Okay. There. And it's not a lumpy recipe. I mean, it's not. No, it's very no, thin. Not at all. So, uh, when I have made these before, uh, I usually like to use, only put about 10 of them in here. Okay. Because I do like them just a little bit bigger. Okay. And they make just really nice. So we're going to, oh, this is your job. Oh, I, I do have one job on the show. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, you know, and you want to spray them fairly generous. I don't know which two you're going to leave out, so I'm going to okay. spray all of them for you. You, okay, <laughs> just in case. And then I'm going to just put a little bit of flour in on the bottom there. It says just to dust that with a little bit of flour. Okay. okay. All right, just take that up a little bit there. And then we're just going to go ahead and pour a little bit in each one. You're probably going to have it about a third full. Okay. And that's going to depend upon the size of your, mu your muffin tin. It's easier to go back and put a little bit more in instead of trying to take out. I always end up doing that when I'm making cupcakes. I, I start out thinking, okay, and then by the end I'm short about three cupcakes and I have to go back and <laughs> spoon out. Just, just spread it out a little bit. And then we preheated the oven at uh, 350. Okay. We bake them at 350 for uh, 20 minutes. And then, then you put your oven up to 450 uh, and just bake them another 10 minutes. Oh, okay. You don't take out, uh, uh, you don't have to preheat it to um, 450. You just turn it up and, and the, just have that go for another 10 minutes. And you just have some nice, you know, looking turnovers. And there, so. Or I should say popovers, they're not turnovers. 
and that is my washcloth. So we're going to just go ahead and put them in the oven here now. Okay. And I'll put the timer on for 20 minutes. Okay. So I th the next thing we're going to do is uh, uh, our cinnamon butter. And that. I, I do want this bowl here, so I'm going to just quick wash that here. Okay, what we're going to start here with is uh, two sticks of butter. Okay. And I did take that out too, just to, you know, soften that a little bit. And definitely, you know, like I said, cinnamon butter. I would definitely suggest not using margarine okay. with this here at all. And that, and then uh, we're going to put a teaspoon of cinnamon in there. Okay. And I need to get my cloth here and my beaters. Okay. I had somebody ask me today, actually, who does the dishes <laughs> on the cooking show? <laughs> and I said, I, it's usually me. I said, so by the time we were done, my daughter needs to leave to get home to her family, get them to bed. So, He's actually going to see me doing some dishes. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope he's watching. None of that. Okay. We're going to just put that in there. And can you certainly use the stand mixer, but I had this out and it's easy enough to go. And now I forgot where I put my teaspoon. <laughs> so I'm going to put a teaspoon of... Uh, cinnamon in there. Well, and this is something you don't have to mix for a long time that a stand mixer is, you know, warranted. Right. Absolutely. It just, so now I'm going to uh, put a teaspoon of corn syrup in there. Okay. And I'll just get that out of here. And uh, a third cup of um, conde sweetened condensed milk. Okay. That's it. So it's a very, very easy recipe. But, you know, I think we've all had that treat that, you know, you're at a restaurant and if you've ever had popovers or, or even any kind of bread, cinnamon butter is, is definitely, you it's know, a treat. A treat. It definitely. is. Definitely. So now you can make your own. And if you, you know, you want to whip that, make it nice and light and fluffy. And being you're only using a part of a can, this is something that you certainly, I mean, if you're going to be having a large gathering, you can, you can make quite a bit of this. Uh, definitely. And you know, you keep it refrigerated and it's going to keep. Okay. It's not something that you have to use within a few days or... You know, I think you, you'll be fine for in a couple of weeks. Okay. If it lasts that long. If it lasts yes, that long. That's right. So we're going to beat this. Okay. Turn off that noisy beater there, and you can see how nice and light and fluffy that is. Put that in there, and then I'm going to just put that in there. And you know, with beating it up and, and that, it... Um, it actually gives you more volume. It does, yes. You know, and it's nice when you're spreading that. So when you're putting that over your warm pop over, that is going to be just the best. And so you can see it, uh, even just one recipe, it does make a, a fair amount. It sure does. So we'll set that over here. And set that aside, and we're going to wait till those popovers are done. Now our avocado citrus salad. Okay. Let's just go ahead and uh, take a couple plates here. And you could actually just go ahead and I'm going to make up two platters here. Okay. But it says, you know, it, it makes like for four salads. Okay. And that. So let's, we're going to line the plates with uh, some lettuce. You know, so you can go ahead and... Oh, I'm going to be doing some demonstrating yes, there, Yes, you can do a little bit there. And I just got some romaine lettuce, but, you know, whatever 
kind of lettuce that you you know have. I would think even iceberg lettuce would be be good. Okay. And we're going to use um, I peeled an orange and a grapefruit okay. and we have avocados that we're going to slice into that and uh, one thing too you know the avocados you know it's got that buttery kind of nutty taste mm -hmm. to it just gives it a little extra zip and there you're not even going to have to have that much on a with a dressing we're going to use um, here we'll put like four slices on there and then we're going to put um, the grapefruit in and I just section them in there and just kind of put the grapefruit in between the lettuce, I mean the oranges, you know, alternate that. And with the avocado, we're going to just, I got that already peeled, and we're going to just put some avocado slices in here. And you want to make sure your avocado is nice and ripe and so, you know, that it's soft. Right. And this way too, they really pull away from this, your uh, pit very nicely. Oh, careful. Oh, just about. Drop that. So something very easy. Um, I could just see this as a, a nice little get together with some friends that you just want something um, light. A salad so you can indulge in the cinnamon butter and popcorn. Oh, absolutely. So let's just <laughs> swap it out there. That's. Yeah. And I, I've got two avocados here, and that and that's like you know you say you're going to make four um, salads. Right. You, you would want to use that um, two avocados. I, avocados is one of my favorites. I just love that taste of avocados. They are, they are good, very good. They are. So this so. will be something different as a salad with, you know, with what I wouldn't, I wouldn't think it would put this together, but I know it's going to be great. Absolutely. Now we're going, to, I chopped up uh, some red onion. Okay. And we're going to just put a little red onion on top of that. Again, there, that's pretty much, you know, uh, how much you like. You can always add more. Right. But we'll just, and with the purple onion or the red onion, you know, they're a little bit sweeter, so it's not as tart. And then uh, for the dressing, it's so, so simple. And I'm going to just put that in, in a cup. It asks for a tablespoon of chopped fresh, fresh mint. Okay. So, and you can just smell that mint. Two. So now we're going to do a tablespoon, two tablespoons of uh, lime juice. Okay. There we go. And then it asks for two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. So it's a vinaigrette type of dressing. Mm -hmm. This one turns off. I was going to try to <laughs> pop that lid off, and there's no lid there. <laughs> and I'm just going to, I mean, like I said, you can see that I'm just using a uh, cup here that, because it's not a big dressing, and then I'm going to just put that lid on and then shake it. And just before we eat, we'll drizzle that on. Okay. And uh, we'll wait until we can show our popovers. They got eight more minutes on the 20 minutes. And then we'll put them, put it like set to 450 for 10 more minutes. Okay. And we'll show you what they look like. And we got a nice light lunch. Absolutely. I would be pleased if somebody invited me over for something like this. Absolutely. It would be. Okay. Okay. I think our popovers are done. So okay. let's go check that out. Okay, they are. They have done popped slow. over. They, they have. <laughs> they, they have done popped over. Whoop. Don't want to lose that. Okay, and see how nicely they just come out of the pan there. So we're going to just 
put a couple of them on here. All right. And that nice and golden brown. And we'll do it. Just take a knife and just oh, open that. Isn't that? And you know, they turn hollow inside. And mm -hmm. now you just go ahead and you put some of that in there. Nice melted, I mean, that cinnamon butter, that's just going to melt. And be generous, you know, because that's going to add such a good flavor to that. There, we'll put a... It's almost like making cream puffs without... Oh, yes. But, it, you know, it, it's a lot simpler. You don't have near um, the steps that you do when, when you're making cream puffs. But this is something that you definitely could put a, a little salad in if you wanted to, like a little... Um, chicken salad and have a little sandwich too. Absolutely. So we butter a couple of those so you can see that. Now we're going to just shake this here and we're going to drizzle that over our salad. And that mint leaves in there. Steps. Okay. Can't wait, you know, and that mint just gives it just a... It, it, well, other than the citrus, other than the, the, the fruit that's on there, that mint, oh, yeah. we got, uh, if you could be in the kitchen with us right now, the smells that are going on right now, they're just wonderful. They are. They are. But the smells aren't going to be near as good as the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want to make them too jealous. Oh, okay. But they just have to get the recipes and make them. Right. And they're not hard at all. And again... Thank you, Sarah, for giving us the recipe for your cinnamon butter. I'm sure we're going to be making it for days and days to come here. And to get these recipes, just go to Consolidated's website, www.ctctel.com. Please submit your recipes for us to cook for you. Thank you so much for joining us, and have a great day.